Chris with ASD. I'm here to show you how to terminate a jack using the tools that come with your data drop in the box, including your quick punch down or termination tool and a jack you can find in the box as well. So our box is securely mounted in the wall and our cable is fished. At this point we're going to start to terminate. The quick termination tool has a thumb tab that you can press and it opens up and allows you to strip the cable back with the edge of that knife. So whenever we do this, so we put it in there and then we twist it around to break the shield. You see the shield breaks, we can put that and discard it to the side. So now that our cable is stripped back, we're ready to terminate. On the side of the jack, you'll notice what they call a color code. This is what tells you where to put each cable in the jack whenever terminating in order to assure that continuity is correct on both sides. The standard in America is the 568B, which is the top one, not A, but B. So if you notice, you've got green right here, brown, orange and blue, the same four pairs that you have in your cable. Whenever you're terminating a cable, you want to make sure that you untwist as little as possible. So whenever I put it in there, <clears throat> I don't want any extra sheathing showing out of the jack like this. I want it all the way down here like this. Whenever I bend my cable back, I can simply use my other thumb to put it right here and twist the cable to see the pairs come apart. Then you put it down like that. Do that with every pair. Make sure the white and the solid colors are where they notate on the side. See, I've got the white here and the white here because the white's on that part of the color code. Untwisting as little as possible. The more untwist you do, the more bandwidth that's lost, and thus a slower internet speed. So now we use the other piece of this termination tool, which is the punch down piece. We use this to punch it down into the jack. You'll feel it tighten down in the teeth. I like to rock it a little bit to make sure it's securely snug in the bottom of the jack. So now that it's punched down, you can double check to make sure it's securely seated by making sure it's at the bottom of the teeth, each pair. So now once every pair is securely seated in the correct spot to match the color code on the side of the jack, you simply snip the pairs off as close to the jack as possible. You don't want these pairs to touch. As long as these pairs don't touch, you won't have any continuity issues. Once terminated, use the dust cap that also comes with the jack. Pop it on. This helps to make sure each pair is securely in place as well as making sure that no dust or drywall get in there and cause issues with connectivity. So now your jack's fully terminated. The sheathing goes all the way up to the inside of the jack. Your pairs are twisted as little as possible. Everything's fully secured and the dust cap is on.